Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be checking out the Synchtronic uh, synth bundle we have going on right now. Um, this comes with a 17 different synth instruments, so they're all over here. So you get, you know, the, these kind of vintage analog sounding synths. They're all listed over here. I wanted to do something completely out of my element and kind of do like an old school kind of techno 80s sounding thing with this so we're just going to check out you know some of the sounds right here and then we'll go in and look at you know more of the individual sounds but let's check out the track first So you get the idea of the kind of sounds, very analog, very old school sounding because they are meant to emulate these analog uh, synths. So we also have percussion. You notice one of those was a kick drum type sound and then one I kind of mangled into a snare. But we'll go through and check out some of the presets and show you. I've loaded this up in Sample Tank. You can also load it up in Syntronic and you get more controls that way. Um, I just used it this way, kind of just using the presets on their own just to keep that in mind. So we have the different categories here as you can see arpeggios, chromatic drums, etc, etc. We have the different expansions over here. You can click on one of those and it will only show you presets from that specific sound set. And again there are 17 separate sound sets available where you can just look at them all by um, closing out the filters and then you have everything there. So as you can see we also have tags uh, according to timbre, style, music genre, mood, and so that's a really nice touch to kind of just go in. Um, for instance, one of the bases, I just wanted something ambient, so I go in here and click, and you have a wide variety here. If you only want the guitars from that, boom, there you go. You only get one, but let's say you want the synth basses, there's going to be a lot more. So before we go in, just take a look at the wide variety of sounds we do have here, uh, just by scrolling through, and again, these are just ones that correlate with the synth bass right now. Let's check out some of the sounds individually. I really liked this one here. Um, I'll try to find the preset names for you guys. We're just going to click this. Okay, that's Berliner Bass. Now I've got the lead coming in. And then after that comes in a kind of arpeggio sound. It's called 90s break bass.
So that was just the break bass, kind of arpeggio sequence type sound. Um, let's go into the next section. I believe this is this is the default um, sound that loads up when you load up Syntronic. It's called a deep sweeper. Uh, really nice sound there. And then this one is pulsing sub. This is another kind of sequenced sound. So this is a pulsing sub. And then adding in a deep sweeper. Now here, this is where that little kick drum comes in. Very electronic, synthy sounding kick drum. Just to give it some nice uh, rhythm and everything. So let's load up every sound that we have so far and you get a nice kind of bouncy. It's pretty fast at 160 BPM. So that pad, as you could see, was called a Deep Sweep Pad, another one of the presets. And then we transition to the second section, which adds a nice little kind of lead pluck sound that I really liked a lot. Again, it sounds a lot like, you know, old video game music or something, but it's a lot of fun. So that's a quick look at some of the sounds, what you can do with it. Very low resource usage with all these different instances. Um, and again, just loading up presets and having some fun with it. If you load them into the Syntronic over here, the player, um, you will have more control over the filters and everything. Um, so just something to keep in mind. I kept it fairly simple here, just kind of showing off the presets and writing a track that was a lot of fun and kind of shows what this library really excels at. So just a quick look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for checking it out with me. I will see you guys next time.